Hi guys, this is Prabodh Mahajan and I welcome you in C Programming. In the previous video, we talked about and we learned uh, what is program, what is programming languages, the C character set and what is C, okay? So, in this video, what we are learning is what constants, variables and keywords are, the rules for constructing integer, real and character constants, types of C variables and rules for constructing them and C keywords as well. So, let's start it with constants and variables, okay? So, the alphabets, numbers and special symbols when properly combined, it forms constants, variables and keywords, okay? So, the alphabets, numbers and special symbols we discussed in our previous video, okay? So, a constant is an entity that doesn't change, whereas a variable is an entity that may change. You all are aware of what constant is in mathematical language, okay? So, like human memory, the computer memory also consists of millions of cells. The calculated values are stored in these memory cells. The memory cells are also called as memory locations. Okay. So, also the values stored in each location may change the names of these locations. So, these are called as variable names. Means, the variable itself says very means changeable, to be able to change. Okay. So, uh, suppose this is memory location. Uh, and these uh, small small rectangles are memory cells in that particular memory location okay so the name of memory cell here is x which has assigned a value 3 okay so the, since this is this is variable means the value or the <coughs> address of uh, it can be changed so so the address change means uh, we substitute the value of 5 in, in, and change the value of 3 okay so the, uh, let's see the rules for constructing integer constants an integer constant must have at least one digit, okay? It must not have a decimal point. It can be either positive or negative. If no sign precedes an integer constant, it is assumed to be positive. It simply means that the compiler assumes the value of the integer that will be inputted by you as positive value, okay? So no commas or blanks are allowed within an integer constant. If you do so, the IDE or the, or the compiler will definitely show you an error. Okay, so the allowable range for integer constant is minus 3 to 7, 6, 8 to 3 to 7, 6, 8. Okay, uh, don't need to remember it, just read this. Okay, so uh, let's move ahead and study the rules for constructing real constants. Real means floating point constants. Okay, a real constant must have at least one digit, it must have a decimal point, it could be either positive or negative, and default sign is positive. Means these four rules. The first four rules are same as that of previous one, okay? The mantissa part and exponential part, I think so you should, you you have studied it in your previous classes, okay? Or in maths, okay? So, the mantissa part and the exponential part, they, sh they should be separated by a letter E, okay? So, as you see in the, ex in the example here, this is the true indication of this point, okay? And no commas or blanks are allowed within a real constant. These are the example of real constants. Real constant means simply floating point and in which we use a decimal point. Okay. So, the, now see the rules for constructing character constant. A character constant is a single alphabet, a single digit or a single special symbol enclosed within a single inverted comma as I told you in previous video. Okay. So, both the inverted commas should be point to the left. Okay. And if one inverted comma point is pointing pointed in pointing in left and another in right then it will be an error okay according to the compiler and according to c conversion type so for example this is a true indication of a character okay this is a valid character constant whereas this as you see here it is not okay so the maximum length of character constant can be only one character these are examples as you see here now, uh, let's see the types of variables in C. Now, in any language, any kind of programming language, the types of variables that it can support, they depend on the types of constant that it can handle, okay? Means, we have discussed the various types of uh, data, various data types and their implementation, how can it be done, okay? And the more we are learning in our upcoming sessions, okay? So, this is because a particular type of variable can hold only the same type of constant, okay? means the data type should be same now uh, for example an integer variable can hold an only an integer constant a real variable or a floating variable can only hold a real constant 
means decim uh, a constant containing decimal points and a character variable it can hold only a character constant as we see in the as we have seen in the previous slides okay so let's move ahead and study the rules for constructing variable names so a variable name is any combination of 1 to 31 alphabets digits or underscore okay now the important point is this that the first character in the variable name it must be an alphabet or underscore and neither a number or any kind of special symbol must be incurred within it so no commas or blanks are allowed within a variable name as we discussed in earlier so no special symbol other than an underscore so this is an example as i told you it can be used in a variable name so these are the examples for uh, of variable names okay it must be right they are right indeed so uh, now move ahead and see c keywords which are uh, which actually are a starting of c programming okay so uh, keywords are the words whose meaning okay so keywords are the words whose meaning has already been explained to the c compiler okay uh, the programmer ex uh, need not to explain it it all it is all always stored in the compiler or the software or the ides okay so the keywords it cannot be used as variable if you do so definitely an error will be occur okay so the keywords are also called as reserve words since they are already stored in the memory of or of the software okay so there are only 32 keywords which are available nowadays nowadays in c okay uh, we will be discussing gonna uh, one by one in our upcoming session and through whole session we will be learning these okay this is one of the important aspects in c programming so uh, one thing i wanted to share with you that near far asm are some extended keywords used by some of the compilers like microsoft's borlands and nowadays uh, the upgradable version of deus too okay so as you see here uh, these are the 32 keywords which are now a days available in c programming okay so thank you guys for watching and if you have any queries relating to it please let me let me know so that i can clear of it okay so thanks thanks for watching